Hi, I'm Anastasia with Media Control North America. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to the Blue Log interface directly on the local area network. This is very helpful when you need to configure or troubleshoot a Blue Log and there is no internet. For this, you will need a Blue Log, a laptop, and a cat pipe cable. I'm simply going to insert one end of the cat pipe cable into the Ethernet port of the switch at the data station and the other end at the Ethernet port of the laptop. Now I'm going to power up the data station using the circuit breakers. It takes about one minute for the blue lock to boot up. When the booting stage is complete, you should be able to see the black screen saying media control. To access network settings, I will be using the blue logs buttons to navigate through the menu. Press OK and select service. The system is asking me for the PIN. For the PIN, please contact our technical support engineers. I put the PIN in and hit enter. Then I scroll down to telecommunication and I choose network. Now I'm able to view my network settings. DHCP should be deactivated. The default IP address is 192.168.30.40. The subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. And the gateway is 192.168.30.1. Now I know the network settings of the blue log and I need to set my laptop to the same network. In my laptop, I go to network and internet settings. I go to ethernet, change adapter options, make sure that Wi-Fi is disabled, go to ethernet, properties, Internet Protocol version 4 and use the following IP address 192.168.30.15 which is on the same network but not the same address as a blue log. The subnet mask is the same as for the blue log 255.255.255.0 and there is no need for a gateway because we directly connect it to the switch. I check validate settings upon exit, press OK, click OK again, close all the windows. Now in the browser I'm simply typing the address of the blue log which is 192 168.30.40 This brings you to the blue log interface and it asks you for the login credentials. To get the login credentials, please contact our technical support engineers.